What's up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood, and we are back on IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on the World Wide Web and all mobile devices. So we got a few topics to get to today. First, before we do that, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. So who are we going to start it off with today? Let's start it off with Candace Owens and Kanye West. Now, a lot of people were buzzing because there's a picture of Kanye West and Candace Owens embracing. Looks like he's kissing her near the bottom of her you know, of the cheek, you know, close to the neckline. And she's just a grinning. Looks like he might be whispering something to her. Then they were also standing holding hands, you know, when they had the White Lives Matter t-shirt on. Looks like they were standing so close to each other that they were holding hands. That's what I thought initially. And then I uh, got from a source, that's exactly what they were doing. They were holding hands. Now, it has not been confirmed nor denied. Well, of course, they're not going to ask. Candace, Owens, or Candace uh, Owens is also married, like Kanye West. Except Candace Owens is not separated from her husband. They actually just had a child, I believe. So, um, Candace Owens... And, um, you know, her husband seemed to be happy. But that doesn't stop people from throwing a conspiracy theory and saying that they believe that, judging from the body language, that Kanye West and Candace Owens are a little bit more than friends. Now, I don't follow Candace Owens, but I believe she just had a child not long ago. But if she didn't, she just didn't. Because, like I said, I don't follow her like that. But that's what a lot of people are saying. Now, Kanye West was back on Drink Champs and back causing havoc and having people, you know, scratch their heads and going viral and everything else. So he was on Drink Champs and a lot of people are now dragging Drink Champs for bringing Kanye back for him saying the things he said. He spoke out about um, George Floyd said something that really upset a lot of people. He also spoke about Jewish people. So. Take a listen to what Kanye said, and then we're going to come back and unpack it. George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two roommates said was, they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, Mama, Mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. But something that hit me, that fucked me up when I was watching the documentary, and it said they want a tall guy like me. When I looked at that image of him, this tall black dude with the bald head, he reminded me of somebody else. Who do you think he reminded me of? Virgil. He reminded me of Virgil. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna cry in front of y'all because that's how they get me, right? right? But I know that we lost him. And I know that this white company, Louis Vuitton, is now making statues of him, right. like as a martyr. And we don't know why exactly. We say it's cancer. But I yeah. mean, I mean, um, mm -hmm. all right, I want to be careful with this subject because wait a second. But tell me, mm -hmm. could you even really run this interview? Because Mav yeah. didn't run my interview. Right. You got know I'm saying they blocked me out. The Jewish media blocked me out. This shit lit, right? I'm lit, right? Mm -hmm. I'm lit. Mm -hmm. I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? J.P. Morgan. I put 140 million dollars mm -hmm. into J.P. Morgan, and they treated me like shit. So if J.P. Morgan Chase is treating me like that. How they treating the rest no, of y'all? That's outrageous, Shoot. yeah. And this this murder was with Chase accounts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I am outraged. Oh boy. So at this point, I don't know who's going along with him, and I know I've seen a lot of people out there saying, "Oh, he's got a good point." Like, but none of y'all could tell me what the good point was. I think at this point, people just want to say, "Oh, I do believe a lot of things he was saying. I agree with a lot of things." And you agree with what? Can none of y'all tell me what you agree with? Because you're just saying that just to say it. But, you know, Noriega is getting dragged. You know, him and his host. 
I mean, his co-host, DJ FNX, I believe his name is. And they're going to have, people are also going to be looking for Diddy because, you know, um, Noriega allowed Kanye West to come on Diddy's platform and say, F you to Diddy, F you to Meek Mills. He was like, but especially Diddy. And that was his platform. So it's going to be interesting going forward to see what happens with that. You know, I am, I'm over Kanye West. I don't want to hear anything else about him. Moving on to Cardi B. And as we reported the other day, she is spotted in the studio. Uh, she's trying to, from what I hear, trying to finish up this album. And I do believe to her that Bad Baby will also be on this new uh, album, Cardi B's. Now, there was also a narrative floating around that Cardi B... Uh, Because of the whole thing with uh, Offset, you know, and people saying that Sweetie cheated on Quavo with Offset, something that's never been uh, confirmed, by the way, um, that Cardi B had removed Sweetie from the FNF freestyle, right? So they were saying that that she removed Sweetie from the FNF freestyle, and she also uh, blocked Sweetie from being on the Tomorrow, you know, on the Tomorrow uh, record that she is on, saying that Cardi B had her removed from that. That was a narrative flowing around. Well, Hit Boy put it into that narrative, all right, where he let people know that Cardi B did not remove um, Sweetie or block Sweetie from being on any of these uh, remixes, he basically said Offset got Cardi B on the remix, you know, on the uh, Tomorrow remix that she was on. Had absolutely nothing to do with Sweetie. He actually said, Hit Boy actually said, when they couldn't get Sweetie, that's when, you know, the doors, had, they let Cardi know the doors are open for her, you know, to get on the uh, Tomorrow too. And that's how it happened. So, according to Hip Boy, Cardi B did not uh, stop any bags or have Sweetie removed. Y'all just listen to any old YouTube and just take it and run with it and start thinking y'all got tea when you really got piss water. Oh, boy. Moving on to Taylor Swift and um, Selena Gomez. Now, a lot of people were... T- uh, posting this picture saying that Taylor Swift unfollows Selena Gomez because she posted a picture that she took with Holly Bieber uh, somewhere this weekend at one of the award shows, one of the events. Selena Gomez uh, posted a picture with Holly Bieber. Short thereafter that, fans are saying that shortly after that, Taylor Swift um, unfollowed Serena, uh, Selena Gomez. Now, then there were some people saying that, you know, Taylor's not following anybody. You know, uh, she stopped following Selena. But, you know, every single time something like this comes up, people's fans are always saying, no, no, she she never followed her. Or that's not why she's unfollowing her. Like, if somebody's got some sort of program to tell that she was following Selena Gomez before this song dropped, please let me know down in the comments. Other than that, we're going to say that it's, you know, a false alarm. Uh, Taylor Swift and uh, Selena Gomez are good. But you never know. So uh, we'll have to revisit that. Finally, closing it out with Megan Thee Stallion on Saturday Night Live. And what an amazing and emotional performance. Megan performed Anxiety. And she got very emotional at a point where she almost started crying a couple of times, especially the part where she said, I wish I could write a letter to heaven. You know, I'll tell my mama, uh, I wish I was, I wish I had listened. You know, um, if you know the, the anxiety record, which is a very heartfelt record, which, you know, a lot of, one of the lines is saying, you know, people are saying, you know, I, they think I need help. And she's saying, but I don't even know what I did. Uh, there was another part where they're like, you know, they say you should live your truth. And she's like, but then they tell you, they tell you to live your truth. But then they tell you they don't believe you. You know, so 
She got very emotional up there. I wish I could show the performance, but I don't know what they're dinging and what they're not dinging. I, I'm putting up performances sometimes, even with no volume, and they're giving me copyright strikes. So just want to say keep your head up to Megan Thee Stallion. I know she tweeted she's taking a break. It is a well-deserved break. You know, when you go home, just take a break for a while and then come back swinging, you know, towards the end of the year. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends.